Hey guys, welcome back to the Trico Lube Room, where today we're going to be talking about sampling hardware on your rotating equipment. Sample ports are designed to draw a sample from your equipment where lubrication is most essential. This is the most accurate and efficient way for pulling a sample on any piece of rotating equipment. Trico offers a variety of different sample ports based on the needs of your application. This includes threaded style and the sample port pitot tube. These threaded valves are ideal for small reservoir applications where the inside wall is near the turbulent zone of lubricated components. They are also perfect for taking samples at multiple locations on larger hydraulic systems. Another suggested use would be on special applications such as filtration systems. The installation process is as simple as threading them into a 1 quarter or a 1 8 NPT below the oil level of the reservoir. For hydraulic piping locations, it is best to have the sample port on an elbow facing the flow of oil. These oil sampling ports function by the use of an internal ball valve and an adapter that opens it up. When you're ready to take a sample, you must first remove the dust cover from the valve and replace it with the adapter. As the adapter is threaded onto the valve, the post on the inside of the adapter starts to push the ball and spring downward, opening a path for oil to escape out through the post and out to the barbed end of the adapter. What happens next is dependent on the type of system you are taking a sample from. Extracting a sample from a non-pressurized system requires the use of a vacuum or a siphon. Typically, handheld vacuum pumps are connected to the barb end of the adapter with nylon tubing, avoiding any possible contamination when attempting to take a sample. Extracting a sample from pressurized systems uses the internal pressure to force fluid out of the valve. Use plenty of caution when threading on the adapter to the sample port, as the internal pressure will determine how quickly the oil flows outward. Before threading on the adapter, be sure that your nylon tubing is connected with the opened end in your sample bottle. To avoid potential spills, you could also use a vacuum pump and allow the oil to pass through it into your sample bottle. Once enough oil has been extracted, unscrew the adapter from the sample port. This will close the ball onto the valve seat, stopping the flow of oil. Now that we understand how a sample port works, we can move on to the sample ports with an included pitot tube. Using sampling valves with the addition of a pitot tube, allows for you to extract a sample from further into the equipment. This is important on larger reservoirs because the distance from the inner wall to the turbulent zone of internal components is much greater. If a regular sample port was used, your oil analysis results would not be representative of what your internal components are seeing within the turbulent zone. Pitot tube sample ports allow you to get there. Another application where a pitot tube is best suited over a simple sample port is when your port is located at the bottom of your reservoir. The bottom of your reservoir is where soot and free water will begin to collect. Using a sample port without a pitot tube will misrepresent what's actually happening within the turbulent zone. Using a pitot tube will allow you to extract the most representative sample from within the turbulent zone. An important note to make is that pitot tubes come in two different configurations, one with a fixed adapter and the other with a swivel. Pitot tubes with a fixed adapter are for straight tube applications, such as a hydraulic reservoir. A pitot tube with a swivel adapter is meant for applications where a bend is necessary in order to reach the turbulent zone. The swivel adapter allows you to install the bent pitot tube without having to spin the tube inside the equipment. The sample port pitot tube works exactly the same as the sample port without the pitot tube, as we explained earlier. So that wraps up our video today on sample ports and pitot tubes. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us.